What's going on everybody? Welcome back to yet another video. And what I got for you guys today is the best skin combos for the brand new skin clash. As always, make sure you guys hit that like button down below and enjoy the video. Starting off the list with our combos here at number one, we have the Babbling S Contender. Contender was introduced into the item shop today as well with Clash. Now, I'm pretty sure they are part of the same set, even though they were sold separately in the item shop, which is sometimes very odd if they are part of the same set. The colors obviously match very well, even if it is part of this set. So overall, this is a really cheap combo to get. The skin was only 800 V-Bucks and the Batwing was 200. So overall, if you want this combo, it's only going to cost you 1,000 V-Bucks. Now for our second combo, we have here the Batwing as Spike Satchel. This is a Batwing that was introduced into the Season 10 Battle Pass and is part of the x Lord skin. Now it does have other styles to it, but for this one, we're obviously going to go with one that's black and purple. The spikes on the side add some really nice detail, which make the combo stand out. For our third combo, we do have yet another Season 10 Battle Pass Batwing and Paint Pack. I really like the spray cans on the back of the Batwing as it adds some really nice contrast with this skin, especially with the hair. For our next combo, we have here the Batwing as Backtracker. Backtracker was a Batwing that was introduced in the Season 9 Battle Pass. And if you are new or if you've seen some of my recent videos, a detail that I will point out again when I introduce this Batwing onto a skin combo is if you look on the back and you kind of see where it's spinning around, you can see the outline of the old map. So if you like that nostalgic or if you really like the purple with the detail of this Batwing, definitely go ahead and put it on Clash. For our fifth combo, you know I got something for the winged Batwing lovers and that is Dusk Wings. This is a Batwing that was introduced into the Season 6 Battle Pass. Now it looks really good on the skin with the all black. It gives a real nice kind of clean look to it. So if you're looking for a wing Batwing and you want something that's going to look real dope, I would 100% suggest that you use Dusk Wings. Coming up for our next combo, we have here the Batwing as Catalyst. Catalyst was a Batwing that was part of Fortnite's very first starter pack that was introduced in Season 3. Now the Batwing doesn't really stand out, but it does have a lot of detail on it, which makes it keep that nice clean look to it. Now for our seventh Batwing, we have here the Batwing as Cuddlebuff. Cuddlebow is part of the Cuddle Team leader skin and is introduced in Season 3. It does frequently rotate in the item shop and being that Valentine's Day is coming up, expect this to be back in the item shop very, very soon. So if you do want an all black back bling that's going to still look good on the back of this skin, but it's something different, Cuddlebow is definitely going to be something that you're going to want to use. For our next combo, we have here the Babbling as Widow's Pack. Widow's Pack was introduced in Season 8 when Fortnite did a crossover event with the Avengers when Avengers Endgame came to theaters. Now this Batwing does look very, very unique, which I like. I like the Electro Sticks on the side. I like the Black Widow logo on the back. For our ninth combo, we have here the Batwing as Wolfpack. Wolfpack is the Batwing that goes with the Tier 100 skin for the Season 6 Battle Pass. Now if you're a Sword Batwing fan and you still want something that's kind of simple, but still nonetheless looks very clean on Clash, Wolfpack is going to 100% be a very good way to go. Now you know we weren't just going to give you one ring Batwing to have for this game. We're definitely going to have more than that. So for here we have Shadow Bird Wings. Shadow Bird Wings was a Batwing that was introduced in Season 9 with the Shadow Legends bundle. Now this is obviously a wing Batwing that is very broad. I'm a big fan of the glowing tips on the side. So overall this Batwing with the combo, it keeps it subtle but it also makes it stand out at the same time. For the 11th combo we have here yet another Battle Pass Batwing. And this is one that is way back from Season 3 and that is Dark Matter. Dark Matter with the dark voyager skin and as you can see on the back of the back wing it does have some extra details to it like it's reading your heart rate but overall once again this back wing is going to keep the combo just nice and clean for the next combo we have here the back wing as assassin's pack Assassin's Pack was a Batwing that was part of the John Wick skin that was introduced in Season 9. I believe it was part of the skin, it wasn't one like gold token that you had to unlock through some challenges. I love the detail on this Batwing as you can see with like the guns and part of the weapons that are sticking out of the back. It makes the combo look really really dope and honestly this is going to be a Batwing that I will highly suggest not only you use, but it's going to be one that I'm going to definitely use myself. Up next for our combos we have here the Batwing as Gage. Gage was a Batwing that was introduced in Season 8 as part of the Ariel set. Now I know this is yet another Batwing that's mainly black. It is a reactive Batwing that keeps track of your kills. So if you are wanting a reactive Batwing that goes really well with Clash, Gage is definitely going to be for you. For our 14th combo, we have here the Batwing as Fusion Orb. This is a Batwing that is introduced in this season of Fortnite and is the Batwing for the Tier 100 skin. Now this is a very bright Batwing which does stand out. And it also has three other selectable styles that you can choose from. It has one right here that kind of has some stuff on the orb. It also has a little blue towards the part that touches the back. Now the third option does have more white and gold in it. So if you want something that's going to match more with Clash, go ahead and go with the second or the first option. For our 15th combo, we have here yet another orb Batwing and Ominous Orb. Ominous Orb was introduced way back in Season 4. I really like the detail of this Batwing as you can clearly see inside the orb. It is the Storm and the purple of the Storm matches really well with the purple other parts of the skin. So if you wanted to shift more away from the black Batwings like I showed you earlier and go with something that's purple, Ominous Orb is going to be perfect for that. For the 16th combo, we have here what I feel like is going to be a very popular Batwing choice for this skin and that is Dark Shield. Dark Shield was introduced in Season 10 as part of a bundle that included the Dark Red Knight. 
Dark Jersey and Dark Wild Card. So if you really love the Shield Backblings and you're looking for something that's going to really match well with Clash, Dark Shield is going to be the perfect Shield Backbling to choose for that. For our 18th combo, we have here the Backbling as Pallet Pack. Pallet Pack was a Batwing that was part of the starter pack for Season 9. The purple on the Batwing goes really well with the other purple parts of the skin. The light blue really kind of contrasts well with the pink hair and the purple and black. The details on this Batwing look really, really nice as you can see with the canisters on the back and you can see the hints of gold as well as with the sword. So overall, this combo has a lot of good contrast and a lot of good detail to it. Now for our 19th combo for the Clash skin, we have here yet another starter pack Batwing and reinforced Batplate. This Batwing was introduced in Season 7 with the starter pack for that season. As you can see, this is a very flat Batwing with a lot of cool details onto it. So if you have this Batwing and you want something that's very flat and kind of stands out with the skin, definitely go ahead and use Reinforced Backplate. Now for the last combo for the Clash skin, we have, yes, another starter pack Batwing. This Batwing was part of the starter pack that was introduced in Season 5. I really love this Batwings for skins like this, as you can see, kind of with the beanie, just the overall look of the skin. It could be someone trying to rob a bank, so the Batwing really matches well with the theme. I know I said that in just some of our recent videos that I uploaded today, but if it does look good, I'm definitely going to put it on the list. And that is it for this video. If you liked any of the combos or if you liked the video as a whole, make sure you guys have a like down below. Subscribe if you're new. Turn on post notifications so you don't miss any of my uploads, and I will see you guys next video.